What's going on guys and welcome to another episode of Smash JT. In this episode we're going to focus on a story from Eurogamer talking about a game called Rap Day that focuses on clearly what the name of the game is and it's bringing quite a bit of controversy along with it. Now this isn't the first time that this has happened with Steam. There was a game called Active Shooter that was eventually removed from the Steam store because it was basically, they said they were trolling and that was the reason they got rid of it. But Steam itself has made a policy which I've discussed before and it says basically any game goes as long as it's not trolling then they're open to doing what they want. A lot of people are up in arms about the situation with Rap Day because it focuses on something that is kind of one of those topics that you don't want in video games and it's an interesting subject to talk about so let's dissect it here i've been having an interesting conversation on twitter and in the comments section of this story because it brings up a really good question when it comes to video games and what's allowed and what's not first off what is rap day it's a visual novel. It's not even a game. It's a visual novel. And according to the Eurogamer article, it's a visual novel created by developer Deskplant with 500 images and over 7,000 words. That, according to the Steam page, enables players to verbally harass, kill, and rap women as they choose to progress the story. Its content includes violence, sexual assault, non-consensual sex, obscene language, and other things that I'm not gonna go into here. Anyone who's watched my channel before knows my stance on this. I don't care what game gets made. That doesn't mean I'm pro-rap. That doesn't mean I'm pro-murder. It's already been discussed in countless studies that playing video games do not necessarily lead someone to becoming someone like they play in the game. It doesn't make them live out these fantasies in the real world, it just lets them have fun in the game. Do I think that somebody should play a game that focuses on rap? No. Do I think anybody will play that game? Yeah, there will be some really messed up people that want to, but it's a very, very, very small slice of the population that even cares about that game. The only reason it gets any attention is because Eurogamer makes an article of it, or a YouTuber like me is talking about it more. But it doesn't bother me to talk about it because these games don't offend me. They're just that at the end of the day. It's a form of entertainment. It's a form of media. It's a game that you can play, just like a movie at the theater, or if you want to get a movie that isn't okay for theaters, there are places you can go for those as well. There was a game that Rockstar made around the time that Grand Theft Auto 3 came out. It was called State of Emergency, and that game focused on murdering people. Lots and lots of people all in these open mall areas going around just shooting them mowing them down and at the end of the level if you successfully beat it you would hear the announcer say congratulations you've killed everybody could you imagine a game that instead of saying you killed everybody it's saluting to what this game of the day has been focused on it wouldn't be very acceptable by society and this is something that we could dissect for days on end and still not get to the roots of it because it's such a deep conversation. But I do find it very interesting that on one hand, us humans in a progressive society are okay with watching murders and playing games with killing people, but then on the other hand, God forbid you talk about anything rap related or any issues with that because that's not socially acceptable, even though in my mind at least, they're both on equal ground as far as how bad they truly are as acts to commit. Which is very interesting because that in itself gets to levels of censoring and what the media wants us to see, what it doesn't, and what society in general through conversations is okay with over the years and what they aren't. Following the controversy around the school shooting game Active Shooter in May last year, Valve announced that it would be changing its content policy to allow everything onto the Steam store except things that we decide are illegal or straight up trolling. Basically what they're saying is, any game is fair game to be on the Steam store. I don't look at Steam and get mad at them for this. I'm saying good for you in this day and age standing up against these people that want to push agendas on you 
Just because it's not okay in their world doesn't mean you should bow and do whatever they want. If it's a good enough game, it will sell. If it deals with a sensitive topic, maybe it will open up a discussion as to why it's a bad thing. Why this is something that needs more conversation around it. Maybe acknowledging these things isn't such a bad thing. Many people in the conversation below the Eurogamer article bring up fascinating points discussing how murder is okay in video games, how beating a hooker with a baseball bat to death on the street, even though she did nothing wrong, is generally perfectly socially acceptable in the world we live in today. Now initially, when Grand Theft Auto came out, it was definitely not okay, and if anyone recalls the issues surrounding a specific Florida lawyer, Jack Thompson, who was trying to push these things out of circulation, not allow people to play Grand Theft Auto because of specific instances that happened in that game, then you'll know what we went through as a society at that point to get to where we are. And even going back to as far as creating the ESRB, when Nintendo and Sega were talking about Night Trap and Mortal Kombat and the dangers involved with kids being able to play these games and having access to them, what it could do to warp their minds. But then we fast forward to today and people look at that like it's not that big of a deal, they've been desensitized to it, yes it's grotesque, yes it's aggressively over the top, but it's socially acceptable. Do I think rap day would ever be socially acceptable? No. I don't want it to be. It's clearly something that looks like trolling. They're going over the top just to sell at shock value alone. And there's a lot of these games that have shock value. They're basically just asset flips that are trying to make a quick buck off of a crazy name or a crazy situation that they put you in. And it's something that's happened since developers were able to create games on their own. This has become something of an abnormality in the video game industry. They've always existed from that point and they will continue to exist. They will find avenues to pop up. You can try to block them out. You can try to close them away. You can try to remove avenues to sell them, but eventually they will still appear. Giving these games an individual voice and attention only makes them more prominent in the community, only makes members of the media that have no idea what's going on think that that is what the focus of the game industry is. And that's the problem with games like this. Once they pop up, every Joe and Larry and Susan shows up from the newsrooms and says, whoa, we got this game called Rap Day and they're selling it and kids are buying it and they're playing it and their minds are getting warped from it. When we all know that is definitely not the case, but it will not stop the media from pushing an agenda because the games are available and they're getting attention. Because there are so many games out there today that nobody, no gamer in their right mind is going to waste their time playing a game for shock value alone when they could be playing fun games that actually entertain you and do a good job of giving you a full game experience. And it's something I want to dive a lot deeper into on a future Smash JT show episode. But this is a problem when your Valve and your storefront of Steam is basically a curator of all video games on PC. Where hundreds of games arrive on the platform almost daily, it's impossible to have enough people play through each game that shows up to make sure it fits in whatever category the creator has made for it. And people could say, well, that's Valve's fault. They should limit the games coming to the platform and only allow the ones that are made by reputable sources. But by doing that, you're excluding the individual developers that are working hard on their games, trying to separate themselves from the pack. So I could see both sides of the issue. As far as a game like Rap Day, that one clearly is a troll job or strictly going for shock value on its own right and should be excluded because they're clearly trolling. But that's a situation where common sense dictates and it's not always so clear, which is exactly why I wanted to make this video in the first place. Rap Day should not be on Steam. This is not a video where I'm trying to promote it being legitimate, being a game that should be there. It's more to question our morals, society's ethics, what we've set standards for, why one thing is okay even though it's tragic and abhorrent, but yet another thing isn't okay even though it falls right in line with it. Let me know in the comments where you stand on this situation. If you feel like Valve should do more to curate the proper content for gamers, 
or if people should be able to take care of themselves and pick and choose the games they want to be playing in their own right. It's a very interesting debate. There are a lot of different stances people could take on this, and I see where a lot of people are coming from. My biggest fear is that because people have an agenda, they don't want people to see certain things, they want to censor certain things, it starts drawing the line and like I said, becomes a slippery slope where we start losing the artistic aspect of video gaming in general. And no, I'm not saying that Rap Day is an artistic game by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just saying that this could be something that leads towards a slippery slope where we start imposing agendas to change the shape of what games look like in the future for the worse because people are censoring and that's where the problem lies. That's where I'm gonna leave this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, you stay smashing.